Okay, hi guys, it's uh, John G here. I thought I'd just share with you uh, this item here. And this is from a, a telephone, and it's a, a polarised bell ringer. I'll quickly explain um, how it works. We can see here, we've got the little bell knob that obviously rattles against the, uh, the chimes on the end. And it's on an armature here. Okay. Now, what we've got, it's polarised, i.e. it's got a magnet in it. And the magnet's just below here, because normally these operate on AC current. And if it's just DC current, all that would happen is there'd be one movement and nothing else would happen. So what we've actually got here is two circuits. We've got one is a magnetic circuit, and the second one is the electrical circuit, the current circuit, through the coils. So let's just have a quick look at the uh, magnetic circuit. So we've got a magnet in here. We we'll say this ends north and this ends south. So the south is felt through the metal here, up through the cores of the coils, and stops at the top. The north goes through the metal here, up onto the armature, and onto the ends. So that's how it works. Now, what's interesting here is that when the armature moves, what we've got happening then is flux shifting. So we've got the armature in the central position, so the gap here and here is the same. The same magnetic force is felt on each side of the armature. When the armature is actually moved across, there'll be flux switching, in this case around this part of the circuit, and when the armature is on the other side, the flux will go through the other side of the circuit. With flux switching, i.e. changing the inductance through the core, we're also going to have voltage generated. So, let's connect it up to an oscilloscope and have a look. So the oscilloscope is set on a scale of uh, 1 volt. So I just connect both of the uh, wires up. And then we have a look at the oscilloscope. And we'll move the actual uh, buzzer itself. Here we can see we're almost up to 2 volts. Yep, 1.4. 1.7. There we go. Now, this particular item or something looking like this um, seems to be quite common to a few uh, devices. Maybe the Hendershot device, and there's also a few others that appear to be using two coils with a, a uh, armature, maybe magnetized. And obviously, if we had the armature um, in, in such a way that it could move very rapidly, very easily then maybe we've got a small generating device here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.